Your computer can only run so many tasks before its plate gets too full and slows down. If your computer is notoriously slow then this might be the case. But if you only have one or two programs running and they don't take up much of your disk space. But the problem persists. Your computer is still slow. Well in this tutorial I'll show you what solutions you can go through and if this is not the case if your computer is sort of working okay one way to do is a way to also show you the preventative maintenance which is also the solution as well. So, they're kind of acting together as one. It is preventative and it is a solution. Okay so first of all we have to find out how much disk space your computer is using right now and to do that we have to open up the task manager so that we can get to the processes window to find that out. So, there are three methods to get to this window. One is a more common method which is the control alt and delete. And I think 90% of all people on a computer know that shortcut it's the shortcut you use when your computer gets and it's slow or it crashes and you're able to shut down a program manually. I will be using that shortcut because it doesn't actually work very well with my screen recorder. I will be using the command prompt. Now you can get to the command prompt in two ways. So, the first way is just to go to the Windows taskbar and type run. And here it is. Here's the command prompt. But in this tutorial, you'll find that I'll just use the shortcut and that is just to hold on the Windows key and press R on your keyboard and it will pop right up. Now in the small window type in MS config and then click OK. In this window click on the startup tab and then click on open task manager. Now this is a very powerful little window. It tells you all the things that are going on your computer. So, this is the startup tab. We don't actually need this. What we need is the processes tab so go ahead and click on that. And here we can see all of these fluctuating figures. And, basically this is the CPU, the memory and the disk and we'll just ignore the network in you for now. But all of these figures are fluctuating while your computer is working. Now the problem I want to focus on is the disk space on your computer. So now to find out what program is using up the most disk space on your computer. What you can do is you can just click on disk up here just click on it. And it will come to the top so you should see what is using the most memory on your computer and you'll find that it does move up and down and never keep still. But just to get a quick eyeball on what's using the most memory. Just click on disk and you should see it floats the top so you can see my Mavavi video suite which is my screen recorder is using the most memory. Now, this is quite a common problem and actually happened to me a few days ago. I logged into my computer. It was notoriously slow. And this disk area here had a red border around it and it was using 100% disk. Now if you've got that issue if you've got this disk column in the red and it's using 100% and sometimes it doesn't stay there it fluctuates it goes down to 20% and it goes straight back up to 100%. Then you do have an issue that I was quite surprised when that happened to me. There was actually a program running in my processors and it was quite simply called Windows Malicious Software or something like that but had the word malicious in it. But in any case, I found that on my computer and all I did to stop it was just right click and I went to end task. Now that's what you can do with any of these programs here. But just be aware that if you're going to do that you should try and investigate what you are disabling because you do not want to disable your computer because there are some important programs running on your computer. For instance, there is a program on your computer that should say system. Like here. And that is your system you don't want to shut that down. That's critical to your computer's operating but it can be as simple as that. You can find a virus here and all you have to do is right click on it and go to end task to get rid of it. So, I want to show you a few more solutions.
Okay, one very common solution for your disk space being used up is your GPU drivers not being up to date. So, what we do is we'll go ahead and update your GPU drivers. So, what you can do is you can leave this running if you want. You can just minimize it and you can get rid of this here and go down to the Windows taskbar and type in the word device and you should see the word device. Sorry the two words device manager pop up. That's exactly what you need. So go ahead and click on that. Now every computer has some type of graphics processing units. And, what we're going to do is we're just going to find out if the driver is up to date. And that falls under display adapters. So, you should have the same in front of you go to this little arrow that points to the right, and then as you can see, I have one graphic drivers. It belongs to the motherboard, a built-in GPU on my laptop. Now what you need to do is you need to find the main drive your computer is using you might have two or you might just have one if you have two then it's probably going to be on the bottom. Right click on it and then check out click on update driver and then click on search automatically update the driver software and if you're on this tutorial I'm pretty sure you're probably online so you should be able to find that out. So just go ahead and click on that and it will tell you that it's searching for the correct driver. Now it tells me here the best drivers for your device are already installed which is something I already knew but it may have changed overnight. Now if your computer goes ahead and installs a driver then I would recommend that you just let that process carry on. Then once it's finished you must restart your computer which is generally good practice for anything that you install just restart your computer and then you'll have to come back to this tutorial. So that's the first stage. Updating the GPU drivers. Another issue that causes your disk to run at 100% is a virus. Now viruses come in many different shapes and forms and typically you'll find the virus is just there to make your computer work harder than what it already needs to do so it might create a program that just runs on a loop so just goes round and round and round and your computer just keeps processing that loop. It's like a roundabout like I said they come in all different shapes and forms. And what we need to do is we need to scan your computer to find out if there are any viruses on your computer. Now luckily you don't actually have to go out and buy the software because it can be quite expensive and there's a lot of tricky marketing when it comes to antivirus software put on your computer and go into more detail about this in a later tutorial. There is Windows Defender. So, go down to the Windows taskbar and starts to type in the word Defender. And you should see Windows Defender Security Center open up here or that option is up here. Go ahead and click on that then you'll have these options in front of you. Just go ahead and click on Virus and Threat Protection and now you can go ahead and click Scan Now and that will carry out a more while a shorter version of the scan. But if you want to go into more detail then just click on Run a new advanced scan and then it says Full Scan here. In fact, I think the button on the screen before is actually a full scan if you really want to make sure that you are scanning a whole computer just come into this window here. Click on full scan and then scan now and that will take several minutes watch it says here. This device will restart your device and it will take about 15 minutes. Okay, so, 15 minutes remember the last time I did it was it was 7 minutes roughly. So, that is a good idea. Now that might work if it doesn't work you might actually have to go out and get some other antivirus software. One good one is AVG because they do have a free trial. So, if you have a big issue on your computer, you can download this AVG antivirus software and they'll quickly navigate to that now. And you'll find that it could iron out the problems for you. Sort out the problems for you temporarily and you can either sign up to the services or try to come up with a different solution. But if you need a quick solution, AVG can help you out. And, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not an affiliate marketing for them. Okay, so, here is a free download now. It will give you a free trial run as far as I can remember I think it was 7 days. So, you can go ahead and just download the free download and then go ahead and get your system scanned. 
and that might help you out, but you have the option here and you also have your Defender to scan your computer which is free inclusive antivirus software that comes with Windows and early versions as well. Okay, so, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to disable Windows search. So, we're going to use run command for this. Hold down the Windows key and press R on your keyboard. Now I need you to type services.msc. Then click OK. It might take a quick second to open. And generally speaking, this is sort of just good practice but if you have any issues in the future, I'd recommend you just reverse what we are going to do. Now scroll down to Windows Search. So, looking for Windows Search. Here it is. You can just double click on that. Then you will have this little window open up here and then just go down to start up type and then put that on disabled. Then once you've done that you can just go ahead and click apply and okay then you can just close down this window here. I said that was the last thing but it just hit me there is actually one other thing. If you do use Skype then you might find that Skype is always running in the background. So, what you can do is you can just go to this window here and click on the startup tab. And if you see Skype and I'm not sure if I have it on my system I've never used it before. I should just take a look. Here it is. Already disabled. If you have Skype on your computer, I highly recommend it that you disable that from running all the time it can soak up quite a bit of your processing power. So now it says disable you can just click on that and it will be disabled. Okay. So, those are some methods just to improve the disk on your computer. And it's a very common problem especially when it comes to the driver. If you ever run into a disk problem in the future make sure your GPU driver is updated. And also, it won't do any harm to scan your computer with some type of antivirus software. I'll see you in the next tutorial.